Hey everyone, so today it is it's monumental. Today is a monumental occasion. You know this is one of, one of my favorite boxes. It is Try the World. If this is what I think it is, and I think it is, it's the Japan box. Oh, it is! <laughs> I'm so excited. So as always, there's a culture guide. It says, welcome to Japan, the ultimate melting pot between tradition and modernity. Tokyo is an incredible confluence of sights and sounds, towering skyscrapers and ancient seventh century temples, speeding bullet trains and peaceful gardens, throngs of hurried crowds and peaceful quiet parks. I need to remember to breathe. Okay, so. Yes, Nippon. So many, I mean, beautiful photos. There's, a, of course, recipe on the usual. Trade world. You've been my bae for so long. Thank you for being my bae. Let's get the goodies. So the first thing is Aoi tea. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's blueberry matcha tea. Known as the finest green tea in the world, matcha tea is also an energy and concentration booster. Aoi tea makes this matcha by cultivating their plants in the shade. In the shade. Harvesting the leaves by hand and grinding them to a fine powder. To use, whisk the powder into hot water. Cultivated in the shade. <laughs> yes, hunty. Aren't we all so? Oh my god, I smell, I smell it! It smells so good! I smell the blueberry like through mm -hmm. this package. That smells so good. I can't wait to have this. Add eight ounces hot or ice water to one tablespoon matcha blueberry powder. Stir using a shaker blender or frother. I'm so excited to try this. Everything in this box looks oh my gosh. like this. Don't cheat. So next thing is Otafuku Foods. Okonomiyaki kit. It says a popular dish throughout Japan, okonomiyaki is an omelet-like pan- Um, did I just tell you not to cheat? And look what happens when you do. Okonomiyaki is an omelet-like pancake made with a variety of savory toppings. This kit and recipe enclosed in your booklet provide the basic ingredients needed to make your own. Oh, I think my friend Angie, who is Japanese and Indian, is gonna collab with me and we're gonna make that. Oh, yay! She said that she cooks. More I get to eat it. So subscribe to Rule of Yum because that video is going to come in the future. So here it is, right here. And the instructions are in Japanese, but luckily we are equipped somewhere with, wait for it. Yeah. So right in the booklet. It says, recipe included is in four languages, Japanese, English, Korean, and Chinese. Sauce is not included, but the sauce is included in the recipe. I'm really excited to try this. This looks so Oh my god. Good. My body is so ready for this. The next thing is Morinaga milk caramels. The recipe for these traditional Japanese caramels dates back to 1899 when Morinaga was founded. Why did I say that like that? They have been featured in several classic Japanese movies and still today these butterscotch-like sweets are a nostalgic reminder of childhood for those born in the 1940s and 50s. Let's put it in, oh, so special today. Where is it? I cut myself. That's how special I was at work too. If you don't know, Ken um, is a cook in a restaurant and he always comes home with like battle scars. Like, look at his arms. It's just like burns, cuts, scrapes, just all over the place. Oh, they're so cute. Look at their package. Yes. They look like Norcubes. <laughs> They look like um, bullion clubes. That's what cubes. I said. Bull oh, what Nor, did you say? Nor is a brand of bullion Oh, clubes. okay. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like milky. Mm. Should I read this with my mouth full? I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. But I will. Takao Kaya seaweed snack. To make this premium seaweed snack and natural health food, Takao Kaya harvests wild seaweed from the ocean, then dries it by following an ancient process similar to paper making. Enjoy it straight from the bag or crumbled over rice dishes. Ooh, this one. Mm hmm. I'm gonna open it. So I'm useful in this video too. You are useful. You're tasting stuff with me. Oh, corny. How about the split one? Okay. I'm still working on caramel. I don't know what is wrong with me. It's gonna be quite a different flavor, you know. Oh, smells really good. Oh, it does. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. 
I could eat that whole package right now. It's well, so put this away, so away, you know, like it. salty, in a good way, mm -hmm. like savory. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I was. We have rice dog, cooking, right? Oh yeah, you can, they can't see Warden. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Sorry. Good boy. Yeah, we're cooking rice right now, right? Uh, rice is done. I'm oh, cooking. Oh, so we can put the seafood over there on. So the next thing is <laughs> Ishiguro Yamaimo Soba Noodles. Yamaimo Soba Noodles are made with yam extract and buckwheat and are flexible, soft, and nutty. These traditional noodles from the Hokkaido Island in northern Japan are typically served in hot broth or as a cold salad dress with ponzu sauce. Ooh. I love ponzu. I love cold salad noodles. Yeah, They're I... My favorite thing. One of my favorite things in the world. Let me see these. This is a pack. I feel like, is this like a pound? Yeah. Well, no. Oh no, it's half a pound. It's half a pound. It's eight a little ounces. over half a pound. The next thing is Kasugai gummy candies. In 1923, Kasugai beca began selling nuts and dried fruit in a small shop in central Ooh. Japan. Soon after, they developed their popular gummy candies, which continue today to be made with flavorful fruit juice. I love these. I've had these. So many times, what flavor did they give us? You're gonna be surprised, so. Is it lychee? Oh, you're gonna make me guess? Yeah, go. It's not I'm gonna sorry. be much of a challenge, but. Okay, I won't look. Like you could smell it right now. Mm. Since I don't know, I wanna say uh, muscat, like white grape. Get out. Get out! Get <laughs> out! It is lychee! Since you told me it wasn't lychee, I figured I had to pick something else. I said, I said, I didn't say that it, it wasn't. I said, you're supposed to guess. I guessed before I ate Get it. Get out! I messed up. So the last thing, I think it is the last thing. That's the last thing. What's the last thing? Wadakan umami ponzu sauce. The sweet, salty, and tangy sauce made with citrus and soy sauce is traditionally served as a dressing over grilled meat and fish or as a dip for sashimi. Mm -hmm. To use it as a salad dressing, whisk it into oil to thicken, then toss with cold noodles. Um, yeah, we have cold I noodles right there. just said that I love ponzu sauce. Here, take a shot. I'm not gonna take, take a Take a swing. Come on, just spray camera. Can we just make the cold noodles? Do it for the, the vine. Ponzu sauce? Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. That's it. I'm so excited with this box. I wonder what the next country is going to be. Stay tuned to find out. <coughs> Philippines. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, try the world if you want to. If you're you know, take example. suggestions or yeah, take suggestions. You know, just yeah. like throwing it out there or like, yeah. you know. So that's it. Um, if you want to check out Try the World, um, the link is in the description box, and just click it. Yes, and we will see you. Bye!